Welcome back to another episode of Tech TLDR. Today, as I promised earlier, we have a long form SpaceX news update regarding what's been going on with them. We're going to talk about two oil rigs they recently purchased and why that is, what happened with them over the weekend and their Falcon 9 launch, as well as plans Elon Musk has for natural gas digging. We're going to talk about all that. So if you want to know everything, be sure to stick to the whole episode. But let's get into the reason why you clicked onto this video. And I just want to say before we get into this, if you want more of this content or if you just want to support the channel, be sure to click the like button. It helps me out a ton in terms of finding the content I should make and helping me with the YouTube algorithm. So SpaceX recently bought two oil rigs, which they're going to be using for launch pads for the Super Heavy with the Starship. SpaceX purchased these from a company called Valeris. They are a previous oil mining company. They recently, as of August of last year, they filed for bankruptcy, and that's when all of this started for SpaceX to finally purchase these. Now, the idea of launching from a space pad in the ocean is, first of all, it's a great idea because you don't have the surrounding neighbors like you do in Texas or in Florida. There's less collateral damage and less problems to go. You don't have to worry about closing off highways or any streets. You don't have to worry about signaling locals to an area. You're in the middle of the ocean. Granted, you're not in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. You're offshore probably a few miles, but it's much safer and much more efficient in terms of protocol to have this out there. SpaceX bought two of them and named them, if I can pronounce this right, Deimos and Phobos. Those are the moons of Mars, and it gives you a little insight that this will be probably the pad they used to lift off to get us to other worlds. Wink, wink, Mars. Now, they haven't publicly said they were going to do exactly that plan with these two oil rigs. However, Elon Musk did talk in the past about how they were essentially looking to build oceanic platforms to launch. So I don't know what else this would be for. I'm assuming that's exactly what it'd be it. And they also posted, uh, I believe, job listings essentially catering towards turning these old oil rigs into a usable facility, if you will. And this also isn't the first time a company will be doing this. So back 1999, a space company, Sea Launch, I'm getting this from marineexecutive.com, this is a Ukrainian company, and they were launching rockets from an ocean platform, and they had to stop because of the uh, Ukraine and Russia problems, diplomatic um, things like that. If you don't know about that, that's an entirely different ball game. I am not going to get into that. That's all political and military reasons. But it shows that it has worked before. They had tremendous success, and China also uses this as well for some of their rocket launches. Like I said before, I think it's a great plan. You don't have to worry about so much things going on you're not in somebody's backyard you're in the middle of nowhere a lot less things to happen the only concern i would have was just transporting the rockets to there and i feel like that would be a process but i'm sure they have the engineering specs in place to get that done now the next story i want to talk about was what happened over the weekend so on sunday the falcon 9 rocket launched into orbit to put both starlink satellites in orbit and a few other customers as well now this was like a ride sharing operation there was not just one customer they had multiple and it was actually a record-breaking one they had 143 satellites on this falcon the most spacex or any other company has done so if we look here from cnet.com the starlink satellites were one of the satellites that were on there one of the payloads they also had other customers they had from nanoracks and from a german aerospace center dlr and the u.s department of defense to name a few 143 satellites in orbit on one launch this is also their third launch of the year third of the month and spacex has said that they want to do anywhere from three to four launches per month this year so at this rate we're going to see another one probably next week this launch originally was supposed to happen saturday however they had to postpone it to sunday only for weather reasons nothing with the system or anything like that so glad that nothing went wrong with the falcon itself it was just weather which you cannot control entirely out of their hands and the last thing i want to talk about was elon musk drilling for natural gas so spacex and another company are kind of in a bit of a legal feud right now in terms of land that has natural gases on it spacex wants to dig for this and the other owners of this land are saying they can't because it's technically theirs blah 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 that's all legal things i'm not a lawyer so i'm not gonna get into that i'm gonna get more or less into why would they want to drill for natural gas? So they're trying to drill for methane. And that's a part of their fuel system for the Starship. 
and the Raptor engines as a whole. This drilling area is right next to Boca Chica, which is where they launched the Starships and where they're doing all the testing for that. So I wouldn't be surprised if they're trying to get a system in place to essentially be able to get much more affordable fuel. If they can do that, as well as get these Starships testing, working properly and landing, and getting the manufacturing settings in place, we're talking about tremendously reducing the cost of spaceflight. You look at NASA's cost to put anything into orbit, the numbers are astronomical. SpaceX, at this rate, they might be able to get it down to less than seven figures if they keep doing it, possibly six figures, who knows. But it's stuff like this is how they get to that point. Drilling for this natural gas, drilling for their own resources to use, cuts out kind of having that middleman of having somebody else sell it to them. They can get rid of those. They can get it much more streamlined, much cheaper. It's right next to where they're doing this testing. So all of these things. And then if Boca Chica turns into that place, and the Texas offshore oil rigs turns into the place where they do continuously do the Starship launches, they're going to have the fuel right there. They're going to have other resources right there. That's exactly why they're doing this. It's all a financial play. I say that just because some people are speculating different weird reasons as to why they would do this. Like if they were trying to sell or something like that, I don't think they're trying to sell it. I think they're just using it. SpaceX is a smart company and they understand the fact that they're never going to get to Mars or continuously get to the moon if they don't have business systems in place. It's exactly why I talk about Starlink so much. The Starlink program, as mundane as it is for most people, it's going to bring tremendously fast internet to most a lot of people but it also cash flows SpaceX to be able to afford more endeavors. They can put more money into the projects that they want to do and make sure that they don't go into debt. They don't have to rely on investors and solely just having NASA for their random satellites like that. It's projects like that that fund the endeavors, but by doing this, they can make it so much more cheaper and have the higher margins. So that's exactly what this is. If you have any other reasons why they would be doing this, let me know in the comments because I'm curious, but I mean, from a financial standpoint, that's exactly what they're doing. Now, that's all I have for you guys on this episode. If you want more of this content, be sure to click the like button and also subscribe so you always get notified when more videos like this come out. And if you have any more recommendations as to what's going on, any more news you guys like to hear, be sure to leave a comment. Let me know. I love interacting with you guys and just getting feedback in general about where I should take this channel. So without any further ado, have a good one.